Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my VIB and VIB Rouge sale recommendation video from Sephora. If you don't know, Sephora is about to have their fall sale and during their fall sale, their Rouge clients can get 20% off. That is going to be October the 30th through November 9th. VIB clients are going to get 15% off. This is November 3rd through November 9th and beauty insiders are going to be able to get 10% off and that is November 5th through November 9th. This percentage is taken off of your whole purchase. Sephora only does this twice a year, spring and fall. So this is definitely the time to stock up on all of your necessities and finally get those items that you've been eyeing and you can now get them at a discounted price. Everything mentioned in this video is linked down below so it is very easy for you to access. I have a list down there with every product I'm mentioning. I have it in the order that I'm mentioning it and in categories. So hopefully it's easy to go down there and find the product that you want to add to your cart and then once the sale goes live for you, check out as fast as you can before things sell out, okay? If you guys are excited for this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. My name is Patty. I am a beauty lover, a beauty obsessed person. I love all things makeup and skincare and if you are into that as well, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. We have a lot to get into, so let's go ahead and get started. By the way, if you guys want to see any specific categories, I'm going to have timestamps below so that you can skip to the category that you're the most interested in. Okay guys, so I wanna start with skincare in the order that you would do your skincare and then get into makeup in the order that you would do your makeup-ish, okay? So first things first, a makeup melter. I only have one makeup melter to suggest. This makeup melter works on absolutely every skin type and it is the best makeup melter I've ever tried. It is highly rated. It's won the Allure Award before and there is just nothing better out there. Every other makeup melter I have tried leaves my skin with some type of residue or doesn't take off my makeup properly, but the Pharmacy Green Clean is the greatest at taking absolutely everything off and making your skin look and feel clean right away. It doesn't leave any makeup or residue behind. It literally makes you feel like you don't have to double cleanse. Now I do suggest that you do a double cleanse just to make sure that your skin is truly clean, but this right here is the best at just taking absolutely everything off of your face in one go. For my second cleanse, one of the absolute best cleansers I found is the Used to the People Kale Plus Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. I have a little one right here and I have the big one in my Sephora cart because obviously I want to stock up on it. The big one comes with a beautiful pump and a lot more product. This is an all natural organic cleanser. It is made in California and it's such a good foaming cleanser. I love it as my second step and I absolutely am so obsessed with the smell that it has. I always say this, it smells like something from my childhood and I cannot get over it, that green scent that it has. Youth to the People is a clean at Sephora line so you can feel good about cleansing your face with this one and it's packed with superfood so it's considered to be an anti-aging cleanser now I do have one more suggestion for you guys because some of you have told me that you've tried the green clean and that it's not hydrating enough of a cleanser for you because your skin is really dry I always immediately follow it up with essence and moisturizer so I don't feel like it leaves my skin drier but if you're having that issue one cleanser that I absolutely love that leaves my skin feeling very hydrated and it's so affordable is the squalene cleanser by the ordinary this is dirt cheap and you can get it with discounts and it leaves your skin really nice and hydrated it's got squalene oil in it which is really good for your face it's not a foaming cleanser it has a more subtle lather per se but i also love her as my second cleanser and back when i first tried it i was trying to just use the ordinary for some videos that i made and i would use that cleanser the squalene cleanser as my makeup melting step and then also as my cleanser i would just clean my face twice with it 
and it worked really nicely for that too so if you just want something affordable and just one product you have to use it twice so that your skin is truly clean but the squalene cleanser is amazing next let's talk about essences i have two that i want to suggest to you one of them is this fresh black tea kombucha facial treatment essence this is packed full of antioxidants so it helps protect your skin against environmental aggressors and so because of that it is an age delaying essence i fully use a couple bottles of this and i've really enjoyed it every time this is the one that i'm currently using right now which i also suggest this is the rose deep hydration facial toner this one i believe works for all skin types and it has the best rose smell to it it removes impurities and softens the skin this is also really amazing and the third one I want to tell you about is one that I have in my Sephora cart at the moment that I'm going to buy and I have tried a sample of it before and I absolutely loved it and that is the Primera Miracle Seed Essence this essence deeply nourished and hydrated my skin when I used it and it left my skin feeling so soft I really loved my experience with it when I tried it and I have been thinking of going back to it ever since because I loved it that much when I had the little travel size of it if you don't use an essence an essence is something that you use immediately after you cleanse and before you put your serum on they help hydrate your skin and they help your skin accept serums and moisturizers better and besides right after cleaning your face I don't usually wash my face in the morning because I have dry skin so I don't feel the need for it but I do use an essence in a cotton round to prep my skin for my serum talking about cotton rounds that is something else that I totally recommend that you get during the Sephora sale I just finished my Shiseido cotton the Shiseido cotton is the greatest thing I use it to apply my essences and I also use it to remove my eye makeup sometimes it is the softest cotton it doesn't leave any residue behind and it also doesn't absorb your product which if you're buying expensive essences you don't want that product to stay on your cotton you want it to be delivered to your face so the Shiseido cotton is definitely going to help you apply those products to your face rather than soak it up like other cottons do all right, so I have three serum suggestions. I have a plumping serum, a resurfacing serum, and an anti-aging serum suggestion. The plumping serum is the one that I'm currently using and it is the Peter Thomas Roth Peptide Serum. It's in my bathroom. I don't feel like getting up and looking for it. So here is a picture right here. I talked about this one recently. I got it from the Peter Thomas Roth website and i have really been enjoying it it's part of my nighttime routine at the moment i put it on underneath my moisturizer and i really feel like it's helped my skin look more plump it's a bit of a pricey serum so a sephora sale is definitely a great time to buy it for resurfacing i have something else from pharmacy and that is the aha honey glow serum this one i really love when my skin has the little texture bumps um, again also have it in my bathroom don't feel like going to get it right now but it makes such a huge difference whenever I use that one at nighttime for all the little tiny bumps to go away it makes my skin look a lot smoother last but not least an anti-aging serum that's going to be a retinol serum my skin is a little sensitive to retinol so that is not something that I use but this is the product that is going to be the most anti-aging so if your concern is wrinkles then a retinol serum is really going to help to resurface your skin to get rid of fine lines and wrinkles my favorite one to suggest is the drunk elephant one because they do a lot of research for their formulas and they put a lot of products that your skin might be sensitive to out of their products so the drunk elephant one is my suggestion for a retinol serum it is a really strong one so make sure that you slowly get into it um, start with once or twice a week and then increase usage from there now if you're using any of these types of serums that make your skin sensitive please make sure that you use a high SPF because your skin is going to be a lot more sensitive to sunlight so don't forget to use your SPF I do have a couple of SPF suggestions the Lancome UV Expert SPF 50 is one of my favorites if you want a clear SPF that doesn't leave any residue behind but if you want a mineral SPF only then I suggest you try the Pharmacy Green Defense SPF another SPF I've heard great things about is the On Seeing SPF by Supergoop and that one you can use as a primer and it has SPF 50 next let's get into moisturizer and if you didn't know this was coming you haven't watched any of my videos before <laughs> uh, 
I'm going to of course first of all talk about magic cream magic cream is my tried and true moisturizer this moisturizer has peptides in it it's got vitamin C vitamin E it has hyaluronic acid um, it deeply nourishes and hydrates the skin it's got shea butter rosehip oil camellia oil it has everything nourishing hydrating and plumping for your skin I have never had a moisturizer that treated my skin as nicely as this one goes I have tried to deviate from it and go back to something else and I have not been able to do so every time I want to immediately go back to my magic cream because it is what makes my skin feel and look the best so definitely recommend that you get magic cream if you've been thinking about it or at least even try the travel size just try it because I promise you that you are going to love it now if you don't want to even try it because it's pricey and you don't want to get addicted to it like somebody else did then something else that is really nourishing and hydrating and kind of like thick like that by the way magic cream and the one I'm about to talk about is perfect for dry skin like me um, is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Moisturizer. That one also has a lot of really nice nourishing ingredients and it makes your skin very hydrated and soft. Now these were the creamy thick moisturizers. If you like a moisturizer that is more lightweight because your skin is more combination to oily, then I recommend the Drunk Elephant Protini Moisturizer. Very lightweight and full of peptides, so it is a really nice plumping moisturizer that sinks right into the skin and it doesn't feel heavy on. The other suggestion is also from Tatcha and that is the Tatcha Water Cream. Also an extremely lightweight moisturizer, perfect for oily skin. So keep an eye out for those if your skin is more combination to oily. One more moisturizer I want to mention just because I have it in my cart and I plan to buy it is the Naturally Serious Night Cream. I was reading the reviews on that one and I really like what they say. It is also a clean at Sephora line which I feel very good about and I need a night cream because I like something nice and thick for night times. Finally done with the skincare and I want to start to talk about makeup with my brows because that's usually what I do first. So I have four products to suggest for brows because I don't know how you do your brows and I have suggestions for all the different ways. If you want to do your eyebrows like I do, the first thing you need is the Patrick Ta Brow Wax. I am in dire need of a new one of these. This is like I'm scratching the borders. It's so empty. <laughs> um, so I cannot wait to get my refill of this. This is what makes my eyebrows like lay on my face and be as fluffy as I can make them. Um, I absolutely love this product and I love how it changed my brow routine. It makes my eyebrows look laminated even when they're not laminated. So if you want that look on your eyebrows, then definitely get the Patrick Ta Brow Wax. If you don't like that dramatic lifted look but you still want your eyebrows to stay in place then I recommend that you get the Benefit Ready Set Brow. This is a really nice brow gel. It just comes with a nice spoolie. You brush it through and it makes your eyebrows stay in place all day long. This is powerful stuff right here. <laughs> If you're in need of an eyebrow pencil, my absolute favorite is the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. It is a nice thin pencil, you can get a lot of precision with it and it's really nice and pigmented so it is the thin pencil that lasts me the longest so I really appreciate it for that. And then last but not least, what I use on my eyebrows to make them look nice and feathery and fluffy is this right over here. This is the ABH eyebrow pen. I have mine in the color Ebony and I do little tiny hair like strokes through my eyebrows with this one and I feel like it gives me that fluffy look that I'm into at the moment. Worth noting, I was in the hunt for the perfect brow pen and I really truly didn't love any until this one came out and I tried a lot. Next, I want to talk about face primers. And I don't remember what my life was like before I had this one right here. This I've had for only maybe like a couple months, maybe three months at most. This is the Liquid Silk Canvas by Tatcha and this product is so good. So it has a liquidy texture that kind of turns a little bit more solid once you apply it. It basically covers up all of your pores. I put it on my forehead and it helps with the texture there. It covers the pores on my cheeks. I like to apply it from the center out. It makes my makeup last long and it maintains my oily areas from getting super oily and it maintains my dry areas from getting drier. 
this is something else that I'm like, what is this witchcraft? It is perfection. It is my number one recommendation in this category. Now, if you're someone who likes a sticky primer so that your makeup just sticks on your face, better than the milk hydro grip primer is for you this is one of those primers that makes your face nice and sticky and once you put all the makeup on top it lasts for a very long time and it stays on forever um so that is suggestion number two and then if you have very oily skin and you need a mattifying primer i would get the fenty mattifying primer I can't relate, I'm sorry, so I don't own it, but it's definitely going to be linked down below and it has the best reviews. Also, Rihanna has oily skin, so you know she's going to create a primer for oily skin that is going to be the bomb, right? For foundation, I have four top favorite foundations to suggest to you. If you're looking for a stick foundation, I recently tried the Huda stick foundation. I've worn it a handful of times now and there is no stick foundation I've ever liked before. This one, it has the coverage that you want it to have because it can be sheer but it can be full coverage. You can build it up really nicely. It lasts all day, it's hydrating, it doesn't sit on top of the skin, it looks very skin-like. So I definitely highly recommend that you try the new full filter foundation from Huda Beauty. Another foundation that I've been obsessed with for a while is this one here from Pat McGrath. This is the Skin Fetish Foundation. This is what I'm wearing on my face right now. This is the most natural looking foundation. It is so thin and so skin-like. It just takes all of my redness away and it makes my skin look so nice and even while still looking so natural. I am in love with this foundation. This is the foundation I use when I want to feel flawless because it makes me look natural but my face looks very perfected with it. My favorite foundation for daily use is this one here. This is the Futurist Hydra Rescue Foundation from Estee Lauder. And this foundation has an SPF of 45, which is amazing because I'm personally not great at putting sunscreen on unless it's in one of my products. So for daily use, a foundation with an SPF of 45 is very beneficial to me. Besides having a great SPF, it has a beautiful medium buildable coverage. It has an amazing hydrating formula and it looks very natural so for daily use this right here is my number one pick and last but definitely not least if you are a full coverage type of person i got you you need to try the airbrush flawless foundation from charlotte tilbury this foundation covers everything you can use one pump for your whole face and you might have product left over okay this also works on all skin types from the oiliest to the driest i have pretty dry skin myself and i can easily wear this foundation it also is an anti-aging foundation it has a product called reflexium in it which is supposed to help with lines and wrinkles so again if you're a full coverage type of then definitely try the Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. Now let's talk about concealer. And the first thing I want to talk about is a color corrector. I absolutely love the Magic Vanish Color Corrector from Charlotte Tilbury. You can apply it with your fingers or a brush and it really helps to hide any purple or brown hues that you might have underneath your eyes. I sometimes even use it as a one-step thing because you don't necessarily have to put a concealer over it. Even though it has a peachy undertone, it can be used as a one and done type of thing. It's so thin, so hydrating, it doesn't move, it doesn't crease. It is amazing. So if you need a new color corrector, try Magic Vanish from Charlotte Tilbury. You are going to love it. For concealer, my number one recommendation is the YSL Full Cover Concealer. This concealer here has the best medium to full buildable coverage. Um, I love the applicator. I use mine in the number two, but I can also use the number one just for a brighter look. Um, and this is so thin, it doesn't enhance any texture underneath my eye. I absolutely love it. If you want a thin concealer that is going to work amazing on top of lines and wrinkles around your eye, then YSL Full Cover Concealer is the one for you. Now, if you like a thicker, more full coverage concealer, then the Pat McGrath Concealer is going to be your favorite. You need very little of this one because it is such amazing coverage. It stays on for so long and it looks so beautiful underneath the eyes. I have mine in L6, but I could go for a lighter shade. Last but not least, I have this Lancome concealer here. This is the Tinted All Ultra Wear Concealer. It is a very full coverage concealer. I don't use this one for underneath the eyes because I find it to be a little bit too thick for underneath my eyes, 
but this is what I use to clean around my eyebrows with um, and I have used it for like two years for that purpose um, so I use mine in the lightest shade which is the 090 now let's get into setting powder and I have two loose powder suggestions two pressed powder suggestions my first loose powder suggestion is the hourglass loose powder this one is talk free it works on a lot of different skin tones and it is very 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 thin um, if you have dry skin you can use this one if you have oily skin you can use this one it is very fancy but it also is absolute perfection for a setting powder it deserves all of the hype that it has option number two is a little bit more affordable and that is the huda beauty setting powder i have mine in the color pound cake which has a little bit of a yellow undertone this one is also a very thin powder so it's not going to look cakey yet it's going to set everything really nicely the one negative thing about this one is it is a bit too fragrant for me but after around five minutes i don't smell it anymore <laughs> Now let's talk about pressed powders. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pressed Powder. This one is amazing when used with the softest brush that you own. You need a very soft brush for this one so that you don't overdo it. If you overdo it, you might not like it, but a very teeny tiny amount of this one is going to help hide pores and fine lines around your face. It has a very smoothing texture, so it makes your makeup look like you have a filter on. Now for right underneath my eyes, my favorite one to use is undoubtedly the Pat McGrath one. This one right here is the thinnest one. It makes my concealer not move all day and it is so thin that it doesn't add any texture. It doesn't make my concealer look thicker. If the area around your eye is an area of concern for you and you want something indetectable under there to set your concealer with, then the Pat McGrath under eye concealer is definitely the one that you need. Next, let's talk about contour and I have two products to suggest. Number one is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. This is a liquid contour. It's very, very easy to blend out and it has two very flattering shades. If you have a deep complexion, you might not be able to use these because she doesn't have a shade dark enough. But if you are all the way from fair to tan or even dark tan, you are able to use one of the two shades, either the light medium, which is the one I use, or the medium dark. Someone who does have a color for everybody is Huda Beauty. This is the Huda Beauty Tantor Cream Contour. I have mine in fair because they run a little bit dark. And as you can see, I love it. I have used this one for so long. I have a dent in mine because it is such a good contour product. Um, I highly recommend this one as well. It's much thicker than the Charlotte one, but it is a very blendable formula nonetheless, so it's not hard at all to use. Uh, before this one came out, I had never ever liked a cream or liquid contour product before, but these two are the bomb. Next, we're going to talk about bronzer and my love for the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This right here is my number one bronzer, the one that I love the most, my baby. I was skeptical about this one when it first came out because I'm like, why $55? Like that is a little pricey for a bronzer, you know? But then I tried it and I don't even remember that Patricia anymore. That skeptical Patricia has died. <laughs> this is made with the same formula as her setting powder, so it has that same smoothing quality to it it makes your pores and fine lines look less apparent it blends out like a dream it builds up like a dream the number two is the perfect color for me that is all i'm wearing on my face right now and you can see my camera died i had to charge my battery and i'm finally back i was saying that the number two bronzer from charlotte tilbury is the perfect shade for me my second suggestion as far as bronzers are concerned are the Fenty bronzers. I love both formulas, the powder formula or the cream formula. They're both amazing. I have the powder one in the color Private Island and the cream one in number two Body Biscuit. These two bronzers are absolutely excellent and I love the formula in both. And then last but not least, if you're looking for a bronzer that is not matte, then the Becca Sunlit Bronzers have the most perfect glowy um, finish to them. They have an amazing formula, very blendable, a really good array of colors. So if you like bronzer but you don't want them to be matte, then get the Becca ones. 
I'm not usually into blushes, so I usually stick to the same few. My absolute number one favorite is the Pillow Talk Blush by Charlotte Tilbury. The color is great, the formula is great. It makes me look naturally flushed. It's not like over the top bright and it still shows up a little bit of color. One that I tried recently and I absolutely loved was the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. I have mine in the color Bliss, which is one of the matte finish colors and it is just such a perfect blush shade. It looks really natural. It packs a punch. If you get any of the darker shades, you need very little. You can see how beautiful that is and it's not too intense. So I'm comfortable with it because I don't like bright blushes. This one has been absolute perfection. For highlighter, my newest obsession is the I Need a Nude Glow Highlighter from Natasha Denona. This is what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now and I just can't believe how like intense it looks without enhancing the texture on my cheeks. I haven't been able to use anything else since this one came out. It has a beautiful creamy texture to it and it packs such a beautiful punch. Look at that. But it's very finely milled, so it looks like it's melted into the skin. It is so beautiful. Another highlighter formula that I highly recommend because it also looks very melted into the skin and is very thin is the Bobbi Brown Highlighter Formula. These are the highlighting powders by Bobbi Brown. I have three shades. I'm going to show you them all so that you can choose. I really love them all. First, we have Pink Glow right here. Then we have Moon Glow which is more golden. And then I have bronze glow right over here, which is just a little darker. So these are the three Bobby ones. And then look right here at the Natasha one. I just love how like much more brighter it is. But these here are very, very natural looking as well. Last but not least, if you've been looking for a cream highlighter, I love the Natasha Denona highlighter stick. I have mine in the color light and this is what this one looks like more is more with this one for it to show up on your cheeks really nicely you have to add quite a bit of it but it looks absolutely stunning and it just melts into your skin i have been loving this formula as well for eyeshadow primer if you have very oily eyelids and you have trouble with your eyeshadow staying on I recommend that you try Too Faced Glitter Glue. This doesn't have any pigment in it. It's more like a clear eyeshadow primer, but it is really, really sticky because it is a glitter glue. Um, so any eyeshadow that you put on top of this one is going to last all day long. So if you have oily eyelids, or if you, like me, have been suffering from oily eyelids with a mask on, <laughs> then this right here is going to make your eyeshadow bulletproof. My second suggestion is the ABH eyeshadow primer. This one has color to it, so it's going to conceal your eyelids. The trick to loving this one is using barely any, okay? Use barely any of this eyeshadow primer and you will absolutely love it because it makes your eyelids look nice and bright and it makes your eyeshadow go on so beautifully. I don't set it with powder because I put so little on, I just let it dry and it dries quite quickly and then I put eyeshadow right over it. Let's start with the eyes and more specifically eyeliners. I'm very particular with my eyeliners. There is very few that I absolutely love. The ones that I reach for the most are these two brands. Number one, Charlotte Tilbury, the Rock and Coal. Make sure that you get the Rock and Coal and not the classic. Um, I love the Bedroom Black. This is the blackest eyeliner the softest eyeliner, the most long-wearing eyeliner. You will absolutely love Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners. Besides Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Co. eyeliners, which by the way, the Barbarella Brown is also amazing. For colorful eyeliners, I am obsessed with the Fenty ones. I use these two right here for eye looks all the time. You guys see me reach for them. I'm actually wearing the purple one right now. This is called Perpetrator from Fenty and it's just a beautiful dark, purple eggplant kind of color and it really makes my eyes stand out even like i'm wearing like a greenish shade on my eyelids and i just put it in my waterline and blended it down underneath my eyes a little bit and i really love how it makes my eyes pop and then the other one i really love is the color cute thing because it's a beautiful pinky shade so it brightens up my waterline really nicely whenever i do a very sultry smoky eye around it that has any type of pink in it i am wearing this pink cute thing liner 
I don't wear liquid eyeliner that often, but if you want a suggestion, I suggest that you try the new Feline Flick from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the best liquid eyeliner ever. Make sure that it's the new formula though, but it is so wonderful. I love it. I'm going to link the new one down below. For mascara, the one that I'm wearing right now, hands down, is the best mascara I've ever tried. I love it, and that is the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. This mascara gives me length, it gives me volume, and it separates my lashes so nicely. I feel like it coats every little individual one. Look at how nice it looks. I made a whole video on this mascara if you guys are interested. I compared it to the other Pat McGrath mascara, which I don't like half as much. And this mascara is my holy grail, immediate, like, favorite. As soon as I tried it, I'm like, this is the best mascara ever. Before falling in love with this one, though, I did use other mascaras that I love. Um, I feel like if this is, like, 100%, these are, like, 97.5 for me. They're very comparable. I really like them. Just the Pat McGrath one is just... It, okay, um, but I've been talking about this one for years The Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara is incredible Lots of length lots of volume very comparable to the um, Pat McGrath one Just it doesn't separate my lashes quite as nicely and then the YSL gives me the same effect as the Marc Jacobs one This one is just a little bit more water resistant. It's called the shock by YSL if you have trouble with your mascara smudging and you don't want to go the waterproof route which I don't recommend uh, then try the shock by YSL because it is a really good water resistant mascara next let's get into eyeshadow palettes and I did not hold back I know that you guys like it when I tell you like all of the options that I love and recommend so that is what I'm doing I'm sorry this video is way too long let's get started with palettes I'm going to start by the most affordable ones that I'll talk about. Those are the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. I'm recommending these three. The Kaki palette that just came out this year has the greatest fall colors. I really love this one. It has really beautiful metallic shades and really nice blendable mattes. If you're a natural makeup lover, then the Nude Obsessions Light is the one for you. This one just has the perfect light pinky nude shades, but it might not work for all skin tones. And then the other one I absolutely love and recommend is the Nude Obsessions Rich. This one works on all skin tones, including fair and light. It just gives you smokier, sexier eyes. And it's got the best burgundy purpley tones to it. I really love this one. When the Nude Obsessions came out, this instantly became my favorite out of the three. So I guess my top two are these two right here. <laughs> One more palette from Huda Beauty, the Mercury Retrograde, which was her holiday release last year, is my number one favorite palette that she's ever come out with. I am a sucker for jewel tones and this one has very beautiful jewel tone shimmers in it and it has all of the perfect mattes to go with them. Um, if you are wondering about this palette, definitely check out my 5 looks 1 palette with it because I promise you I'll make you fall in love with it because <laughs> I made myself fall in love with it when I was playing with it and creating looks. It is such a stunning palette. Next let's get into what I think are the most beginner friendly makeup palettes. So let me show you a couple of quads. If you like pinky nudes then the Pillow Talk quad is a great one. All of Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows are made to be used in a certain way. So you do Prime, which is a color that you want to put all over the eyelid and under the brows, a highlighter. The second color is your crease color. Then the third one is your smoky color for the outer V and underneath the eyes. And this one right here is your pop color for right in the center of the eyelid. So she kind of lays it down for you to not have to think about it. And her shadows are really good quality, so you can create very easy looks very seamlessly without having a lot of makeup experience yourself. If you like an all matte palette, then the Desert Haze Quad is a beautiful one. It's nice, warm tones. You would use it the same way, except the fourth color is like a smoky color, so you can do it as a powder liner, or if you do like a very intense smoky eye, then use it all over the eyelid. 
I personally love her bigger palettes the most because I have more options with them and they're more affordable. The quads are 54, these are 75 and they have so many more shades. I think my favorite one I've decided is the Pillow Talk one because I love all of the mattes that this one has and I like this pinky nude vibe with a pop of color. So if you had to choose one, I think the Pillow Talk would be the one I would choose. But then I also love her new one and this one is giving you more color variety. So you have warm tones, you have cool tones, you have purples and you have a reddish look as well. And these you would use the same way, you would prep, enhance and smoke, prep, enhance and smoke, prep, enhance and smoke. If you want to use them as individual looks, it just doesn't have the pop shade that the quad offers you. But these are so intensely pigmented and so blendable. They are extremely beginner friendly shades. Moving on to Natasha Denona, if you just want to get introduced to her formula and try it out and see if you'd like it or not, I recommend that you get a little palette. She has these that have five shades. I have two. I have the Mini Retro and the Mini Zendo. My favorite one is the Mini Zendo. I just love this color story more. Um, this one here was so promising, but this shade in the middle here looks incredible on people with like tan skin on me it looks kind of grayish and i don't love it because i want it to look khaki the way it looks in the pan and it just looks gray on me so i would pick the mini zendo over this one from her bigger palettes i have all of the 65 dollars ones but the ones that i would recommend the most are the glam if you like cool tones or the bronze if you like warm tones these two palettes here are staples they are essentials they have everything you would need to create any type of eye look they just don't have fun out there colors but if you're looking for a palette that is a staple to your collection and that you can just add pops of color to then these two right here are the way to go this is the bronze one right here in case you guys don't remember beautiful bronzy warm shades in this one i love it and here is the glam one with all of its beautiful cool tone or neutral shades. These two palettes complement each other a lot too. I feel like if you have them both, you need very little else, you know? Because they both have amazing color stories. And the Natasha Denona formula is one of my absolute favorite formulas to own. If you guys want to see, I have individual videos on every single palette that I'm mentioning here. So you can always do a little bit more research and make up your mind on whether or not you want it. Um, I have videos on all of these palettes on my channel. If you are a little bit more adventurous and colorful, I love the Metropolis palette from Natasha Denona. This is the perfect fall palette and just a really great palette to have in general. It has beautiful greens and blues and neutrals and cool tones and warm tones and just everything. And it has grown on me throughout the time that I've had it. Like at first I liked it but didn't love it and now I'm kind of obsessed with it. <laughs> any other of the $65 Natasha Denona palettes if you like it get it because they are a good deal you get great formula for a price that doesn't break the bank and all of the color stories are beautiful and then last but not least I'm pretty sure you thought these were coming the first one I want to talk about from Pat McGrath is this one here and the reason I want to talk about it is because this is the most affordable palette that Pat McGrath has come out with and so I feel like there is a lot of merit in that. They are smaller shades but you do get 18 shades in this palette. The colors are beautiful and the formula which is the most important thing is the original Pat McGrath formula that we've all grown to love and you can get it for $78. This is not the luxurious Pat McGrath packaging. It's a little bit less extravagant than what she usually does, but it is a palette that I think is totally worth it. From her Mothership palettes, I have these three. I have the five, I have the eight, and I have the seven, and I honestly love them all. I think I'm going to recommend two of them to you. Mothership number five is what I have on my eyelids today and that is this one right here. This one was the first one I ever bought and I think it's still my favorite because it has amazing shades. It has three mattes and I love the Blitz Astral shades that come in this one. I just really love the color story in this one. It's not overwhelming and it's not over the top. So Mothership number five, Bronze Seduction, is definitely a top favorite from her Mothership palettes. My second favorite is this one right here, the Mothership number seven. And this one I love because I love rosy, pinky, nude shades. 
it looks a little bit more basic and that is because it is a little bit more basic but I love this palette so much um, I think it's definitely worth it these shades right here so so pretty they have the best like pinky shift mm. okay I'm finally done with palettes those are my top suggestions I know that was a lot but those are all of my children and I love them all equally <laughs> For setting sprays, I have only one suggestion and that is the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I ordered one, I don't have it yet, but I've used it at work and it is magic, it is witchcraft, it makes your makeup last forever, it doesn't dry you out, it doesn't make you oily, and it makes your makeup transfer proof. You don't need anything else in a setting spray, definitely get the Charlotte Tilbury one, it works for everybody. Let's get into lip products. I'm going to be talking about mostly nudes because that's what I like. I have three lip liners that you all need. I have the Iconic Nude Lip Liner from Charlotte Tilbury, which I love. I can't stop talking about it. The Subculture Lip Liner is just a little bit darker and warmer. That is the one that I'm wearing today. Absolutely love that one. And if you want the best nudist nude lip liner, and I'm hoping it's not still sold out because it's been sold out, then the Patrick Ta She's Humble Lip Liner right over here. This is the best nude. Check them all out right here. These are the best three lip liners ever. <laughs> I'm obsessed with all three of these formulas, so if you're not into nudes, still check them out and just select a color that you like because these formulas are where it's at for lip liner right now, okay? For lipstick, let's talk about Charlotte Tilbury first. I love the JK Magic lipstick. This is a beautiful peachy nude. Dance Floor Princess is a beautiful pinky nude. Mrs. Kisses is a wonderful, like, warm tone shade. It's not super nude. It's like a little bit more of a mid-tone lipstick. Pillow Talk is everyone's favorite, and I'm going to link a kit below that has this plus glosses plus lip liner and is a much better deal than just getting this by itself if you don't have it yet and very victoria is like a mid-tone nudie brown with a hint of pink and it is one of my favorite nude lipsticks ever so these are all the charlotte tilbury ones i recently discovered how good the natasha denona lipstick formula is and I have a couple shades that I got and I love them both. So this is Avril right here. This is a beautiful shade for fall. I love it. It's like one of the few non-nude lipsticks that I'm like, yes, that is beautiful. And then I got a super nude one, which is Andrea right here. And it's like a nice neutral nude shade. I love this one with the She's Humble lip liner by Patrick Ta with this shade right here. It's delicious. Those two together are so beautiful from pat mcgrath i love her vinyl formula i have nude venus which is what i'm wearing right now and it is just such a fantastic lipstick it's got the best color it's like a nude with a pinky undertone it has that vinyl like glossy finish to it it's like a perfect combination between a gloss a balm and a lipstick like all three of them combined with no shimmer <laughs> For liquid lipstick, the only formula I love is this one from YSL. This is in the color 25. These are the Tatouage lipsticks by YSL. 25 is beautiful and then number 7 is also beautiful. I don't own number 7, but it is a really nice nude shade. I don't need any more nudes, but I love it. 7 and 25. Then for glosses, the only truly glossy formula I love is the Collagen Gloss by Charlotte Tilbury. This is just clear, so you're not going to see much on my skin, but it has a beautiful shine to it. And because it is a collagen formula, it plumps up your lips. Then from Charlotte Tilbury's Jewel Gloss Formula, I love the Walk of No Shame shade. It is absolute perfection. Look at it right there, it's so pretty. Also another non-nude lip thing that I love. And then I have two gloss oils. Gloss oils are great because they're not sticky. I have the Kaja one, which is a beautiful bronzy shade. This is called Bake Shine. And then the Orgasm Gloss Oil by NARS, which is the most comfortable thing to wear on your lips ever. It's so, so nice. 
Okay, we have very little left. Um, body, I'm getting the Rituals Body Scrub. I'm super excited about it because it's got great ratings and I want to try it. And then my recommendations of things that I have tried and used and love are from L'Occitane. The shower oil from L'Occitane is my favorite thing in my shower. I love the smell of it and I love how nourished it leaves my body feeling. And then the L'Occitane body oil for when you get out of the shower. It is such a nice body oil and I truly love that scent so much. Um, it's my favorite. And then last but not least, I have a little extra category. Sometimes you guys ask me what I clean my brushes with and it is this right here. They changed the packaging. I'm going to link the new one, but it is a daily cleaner for your brushes. You spray it on a paper towel, you, you rub your brush on that wet area and it takes all of the makeup off of the brush. So mostly this is what I'm cleaning my brushes with and then once in a while I'll actually like shampoo them and let them dry and all of that. But this is a quick solution for every day because as soon as you're done taking the product off of your brush, the brush is clean and ready to use. I thought I was about to tell you the last thing, but I have two more things to talk about. I'm so sorry. Um, I was going to tell you about the razors from Sephora. I'm going to link them below. This is what I shave my face with. And I love doing that because it makes my skin feel super smooth and it makes the makeup lay on my skin so amazingly. I definitely love me these razors. And then perfumes. YSL Libre came out last year. I love it. This is the longest lasting perfume ever. Very sexy, very nighttime, very warm, very fall winter. <laughs> And now for the actual last product, the Jo Malone Midnight Musk and Amber. This is my latest obsession. I absolutely love it. It's limited edition for the holidays, so if it sounds good to you, definitely get it because once it's gone, it's not coming back. Um, this has three types of musk in it. It has amber, it has mandarin, and it's got juniper. So it's like a perfect combination of, of woody, fresh, and musky. I love it. It smells so sexy to me. The bottle is so freaking cute. Oh my god, yes. I can't get over it. Midnight Musk and Amber from Jo Malone. I recommend that you try it. Okay, that is it. That is everything that I'm obsessed with at the moment from Sephora. Everything that I recommend that you get. Links to everything organized are down below, like I said. So make sure that you check out anything that you were interested in. If you guys like this video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section if you watched all the way to the end because you are the real MVP. <laughs> I love you guys so much, happy holiday shopping, and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye!